Welcome to Naganohara. My name's Yoimiya. Just let me know if you need anything. We have kushikatsu, egg roll... Wait, no, no, we're not a restaurant. Oh, we make fireworks. <laughs> like these, see? Sparkling, crackling little fireworks. Fireworks are for now, but friends are forever. If we've got nothing else to do, why don't I tell you a story? Have you ever kept goldfish as pets? They're very cute. Ah, the fireworks are gonna get soaked! Uh, let's find shelter quick! Oh, we're not going to make it! <laughs> Watch me make a snowball! Pew! Ah, this is great. I feel so relaxed all over. I could almost float away. The wind's so strong! It's blowing my voice back at me! <laughs> oh. ah, good morning! Ah, the morning air is the freshest. Come on, take a few extra breaths. It'll make you smarter. Time for lunch. Oh. My. It's an egg with a double yolk. What wonderful luck! Now's the best time to test our fireworks out. Though I'm sure they'll look good whether they explode in the sky or on the ground. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll pay attention to safety. Question time. So, what should you do after watching fireworks all day? <laughs> the answer is... To watch them again in your dreams, of course. Good night. See you tomorrow. My father's hearing isn't very good. When I was young, he would always smile no matter what I said to him. And so I thought everything I said was correct. So I kept talking, and he would keep smiling. Later, I found out that he was smiling because he couldn't hear clearly. But as long as he's truly happy, I'll keep talking to him. Nah, I don't worry about loose lips, sinking ships. The emotions contained in the words people say don't lie. Misunderstandings that arise from saying things wrongly can be resolved if you just talk more. But if you say nothing, the other person won't understand what you mean. And they can't get closer to you. Ooh, let's have a game of rock, paper, scissors. On my count now. Rock, paper, scissors. Woohoo! I won! I won! Hmm? I didn't change my choice halfway. Why would I ever do that? It actually doesn't matter what I do. What matters are the people I work with. When I'm with you, even simple things like watching the scenery or kicking a small jar about make me happy. Talking to you never gets old after all. Oh, uh, let me let you in on a little secret. When I first received my vision, I used it as a flint to light fireworks and boil water before returning home, chucking it into a storeroom, and for getting all about it. In the end, it was my father who found it and told me that it was a precious item that I should keep safe. <laughs> At least it didn't get taken back by our dear Archon. Uh... Did you know a lot of the fireworks used during Leo as Lantern Rite were purchased from our shop? I made them to order before asking Beto to ship them to Liyue. Exports like these aren't allowed under the Sakoku Decree, but how can there be festivals without fireworks? When the last sparks of the fireworks have disappeared into the sky, they turn into rain and snow and will fall upon the earth again, nourishing the land and nurturing humanity, so that someday they can be sent up into the sky again and display their magnificence. Of the many stories my father told me, this one is my favorite. Did you ever try to step on a spot of light before as a child? You know, those patches on the ground created when the sunlight passes through the leaves? I once thought that it would disappear if I stepped on it, but it would always jump onto my foot instead. I tried and tried and tried, but I never succeeded. Quite the sore loser I was then, sitting on a rock, sighing to myself and thinking, huh. So there are things in this world that can't be stepped on. While squatting next to some children and watching them catch goldfish during one summer festival, I suddenly had a thought. Did I make fireworks that could go off on the surface of the water? Thus, the goldfish fireworks were born. 
They can swim here and there, emit multicolored lights, and they can even spit bubbles. I never thought it would actually work, but I guess wonders never cease. Beto has been helping me ship my fireworks out ever since Inazuma was locked down. I prepared a huge boat-shaped firework just to surprise her. And when the Crux fleet was about to leave, this firework went whoosh right in front of their eyes, straight into the sky. The sailors got such a huge fright, they thought one of their ships had somehow flown off. But Beto liked that trick very much, saying that it was exactly what a pleasant surprise should be. Very pleasant and a surprise. Fireworks are probably the furthest thing from the eternity that the Shogun pursues. She probably feels that their transient glory has no practical purpose in Inazuma. <sighs> it's probably something that one who has eternity in their grasp will find hard to comprehend. It is precisely because we mortals are like fleeting shadows that we need to treasure such flickers of beauty. We cooperate a lot due to work. Unlike people in the other two commissions, she always lets me finish speaking and answers me seriously without showing any impatience. I'd say the word ladylike was practically made just for her. We once discussed matters concerning the summer festival deep into the night. We were both really tired and I invited her to go take a bath. But when she heard that it involved many people bathing in the same pool, she went red in an instant. That was when I first learned that noble ladies can't use public baths. He's quite the talker, and has reasons behind every word that he says. Sometimes it might seem like there's no connection, but as he goes on, everything will eventually dovetail nicely towards a single purpose. It's, uh, quite different from how I do things. I ask him for help whenever I encounter a matter I can't settle. Ayaka once asked me during a ritual at the shrine if I could prepare some fireworks for the Lady Guji's leisure. I thought to myself, isn't the Lady Guji supposed to sit inside the shrine throughout the ritual? So I watched her the whole time during the ritual, wondering how she'd like to release fireworks. I waited and I waited, and then Ayaka came over at length to tell me that the Lady Guji was most pleased. I mean, what? She'd already released the fireworks? Was the person sitting inside the shrine not her then? Oh, he may look scary, but he is very popular with the children. However, he can be very competitive. Every time we play with the children, it always turns into a showdown between him and me. For example, we drink a bowl of ramen soup in one go, or try to eat sour plums without making any faces. The children will cheer us both on and try to guess the winner. And when that happens, well, then I can't let him beat me, right? Arataki's gang? Huh? So he isn't just someone with too much free time in his hands? People with no worries like myself speak plainly, while those with many cares often speak of ancient poetry or the scenery. They talk of flowers and birds, wind and moon, but never about the reality that confronts them. He's got quite the tale to tell, I'm sure. Due to public safety and fire hazard related concerns, I often get whisked off to the Tenryo Commission's place for a lecture. Kujosara's probably the most reasonable of the bunch. At least she'll hear me out before passing any judgment. If I'm in the right, she'll acknowledge my perspective. And if I'm wrong, <laughs> then I'll get Toma to come and help me apologize to her. <laughs> Let me know if you see her, all right? I'd really love to take her to one of the festivals and introduce her to lots of new friends. She always looks a little down, but if she meets some people she can hang out with, maybe she'll slowly pick herself up again. Wait, you said there was a kid in Mondstadt who was good at making bombs? Now, they aren't much different from fireworks. In other words, she might be a genius. Oh, I'd love to meet her. <sighs> but isn't it dangerous to let children play with explosives? Don't the people of Mondstadt worry about that? The courier from Komani Express? She's super reliable and really quick on her feet. Ingredients used in coloring the fireworks always run out quickly, but she always delivers a new batch right when I need them. I gave her a firework once as a thank you gift, but she was too scared to light it, saying that she got spooked once by the sound of fireworks. 
<laughs> so I told her to find a nice viewing spot far away and set it off for her. You want to hear a story? All right, all right. Sit here and I shall tell you the story I'm most proud of. The story of the Nagano Hara family. You'll rarely ever hear me talk about something this serious, you know? Our family has a long tradition in which we will give every client who orders customized fireworks a note. Its contents can only be understood by our family and records the specific formula of the fireworks that were ordered. Whether 10 years or 100 years pass, our family can make exactly the same fireworks as they did in the past so long as the client brings us that note. The loveliest fireworks go along with the most wondrous moments. Tiny little emotions that can easily slip away are captured within these fireworks and passed down in a different form. The notes we give our clients are like a key that awaits those who wish to open a gate to commemorate the past. We at Naganohara are the keepers of that gate. Every moment of the summer festival is a moving tale. Those who meet under the light of the fireworks grow up, mature, and grow old. When they set off the same fireworks as they did in the beginning, the skies reflect the same image from years ago. Fireworks are not eternal, but I believe that the wonderful emotions behind them should walk alongside Inazuma into eternity. I shan't tell the final tale, I think. Instead, let's watch the fireworks together in silence. You can record the beautiful scenery and all the things you want to say down. Not that this is the end, of course. On the contrary. I believe that our story is only just beginning. Fireworks! Wait, that doesn't count. Well, then, let me think. Um, uh, this one's a toughie. I like to chat with the neighbors. I like going to summer festivals with the children. Swimming, picking wild fruits. Oh, I can't decide which I like most. Wait, I've got it! I love playing with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm copying the sound that Paimon makes while disappearing. The novel that I've been reading for a while finally reached its end, but the heroine lost her memory and the planned wedding fell through. Oh, that's so sad. I prefer snacks to entrees. I always go from stall to stall during festivals, eating as I go. By the way, are you any good at making snacks? I'll trade the dongo I made with you. Here, have the big ones. Ugh, milk never fails to start some real fireworks in my stomach. Crackle, kaboom. You know what I mean? But I can handle dishes and snacks made with milk for some reason. Hmm, maybe the little seal in my stomach is just pickier than most. Mmm, wow. You've got a real knack for making tasty treats. You should totally set up a stall at a festival sometime! Oh, it'd be a hit for sure! <sighs> Good food really perks you up and, you know, puts you in the mood to share some stories. <gasps> Ooh, actually, I got a good one. You've got to hear this one. <clears throat> uh, it, it feels like there's a specter swirling around in my stomach. Hmm, that can't be ideal. The higher they fly, the louder the explosion! <laughs> Let me give this shooting fireworks straight into the skies with a boat business a shot. With all these combat skills I've learned from you, I should just become an adventurer on the side, apart from my day job making fireworks. Or should I just become a hero instead? Never fear! Yoi Mia's here! Evil be gone! Justice prevails! Think this is a good way to introduce the powers you've taught me to the children? Isn't it cool? <laughs> hey, tell me if anyone picks on you, too. I'll stick up for you. Time for a light show! The fuse is lit! Fire hazard! A festive reprise! Goldfish of Doom! Here come the fireworks! Up, up, and away! Ooh, will we find any firework materials in here? What do we have here? Ooh, let me open it! Uh-oh, uh-oh! Oh, that hurt! 
Oh, I gotta watch it. I've come to help. Never fear, join me as here. Burned too brightly. All fizzled out. The festival ends. Lighter, please. That didn't count. Are you going to hold a festival? <laughs> Let's go out and play. More companions! Hooray!